I'm really excited today. We just got in the most profitable mining rig you can possibly have. That's the Bitmain Amp Miner K7. I'm out here on the Boss Coin Mining Farm. What's up? My name is Boss. I have the most advanced Starlink internet deployment you have quite possibly ever seen. $28 a day after you pay the electricity bill. I'm finishing out the mining shed here, hopefully sooner than later. Right now I'm gonna jump into the pod, which is my only operational mining piece, or fully operational with actual airflow. Um, we're gonna be digging into the Bitmain Ant Miner K7 right here, what it mines, how much it's supposed to mine, right, is at $28 a day after a residential electric bill. But what's real world mining profitability look like? What is the future of the coin of mines? Is that miner worth grabbing to chase passive income, uh, even more specifically with cryptocurrency? Or uh, you better buy something else or just saving your money. Let's dig into it. Twenty-eight bucks a day, huh? That's what the calculator says, but I've got the real results. Show me the money! We're gonna dig into all that and so much more in this video. Again, hello. <laughs> oh, dramatic sound effects twice already. My name is Vosker on the Vosker YouTube channel. Which, just to jump right to it, right? I'm excited because the coin we're mining is Nervos Network. It's CKB, and I'm not trying to shill it or whatever, uh, but. It's a cryptocurrency that's in the top 250 coins by market cap. Basically that pushes it up higher and it makes it easier to have a bigger upside where it's not too on the fringe risky. And uh, it doesn't take too much money to move that market cap compared to say something like Dogecoin. But again, with enough people and enough money, maybe it doesn't really matter. I'm just a moonshot dreamer, right? Again, this, this is the screenshot, this is the data in question. This is, you see this and you click order and then you hope it shows up and does that, right? Uh, so we're specifically looking at the Bitmain Amp Miner K7. It's a dedicated ASIC miner, it's a purpose-built machine. But a key thing to note here is there's already two versions of this. Notice that Bitmain has most recently in their batch two sold the 58 terahash second version where originally they had the 63 and a half terahash second version, which is basically like, you know, horsepower compared to a car, more uh, hash power your miner has, the more coins you'll mine, the more money you'll make. Looking at a mission here, you can see that Nervos Network is on the front page. Their mission is pretty low compared to a lot of other coins. In the last 24 hours per mining pool stats, $54,000 have been emitted. That's not that much. You compare it to something like Chia, $400,000 have been emitted, but they actually have a very high emittance per their market cap of almost 300 million. And then we have Nervo at about 177 million market cap to kind of bring that all into a perspective there, which that's, as a side note, that's why I've been so excited and bullish and trying to build out as many evergreen Chia miners as I can, which we talked about those before, basically making 60 to $90 a month with those per miner. I'll drop a link down below in the coupon code. You can save some money there if you wanna check it out. But to keep it you know, on topic, focused here, looking at Nervos Network a little closer, 150 million is the market cap per CoinGecko, 15 million trading volume in the last 24 hours. We talked about Nervos before, keep it brief today. It's a blockchain platform, right? A lot of things being built on it especially tools to build on uh, their blockchain, scalability, EVM, Ethereum virtual machine. Think, you know, it's a proof of work Ethereum competitor. And for many miners, that's the dream. Looking at the mining pool, you can see that I only had the K7 synced up here. I have a couple other CKB miners on other mining pools and they flip over here once in a while, uh, but they're, they're not impacting their results much. So as you can see, my 24 hour hash rate is about 63 terahash a second. Love that. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now let's remote into my mining rig. Already got my IP address, right? Log into your router. If you need a tutorial on setting up miners, watch our how to set up an ASIC miner video, watch our electricity guide, and whoosh, you will be off to the races. So average total hash rate, 64 
terahash of really 64,000 gigahash a second for the dashboard here. Got a pool rejection rate pretty high here at 1%. That's the information again we're mining here on F2 pool. DX pool is our backup down there. Uh, I already had miners on DX pool. This gave this helped me get a clear reading of the daily mining profitability uh, when it comes to uh, this mining rig. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. In this era of mining, you don't get a bunch of options in the miners normally, especially when it comes to amp miners. You used to get a lot of fun overclocking capabilities, but those days have kind of come and gone, it seems. So basically the performance here has been good. It's been what we've expected. It's averaging a hash rate per the miner higher than it's even supposed to have. Per the pool, we're getting pretty much what we're projected to have. It's close enough for me. So what's that profitability look like? So two days of full mining so far with it, and I mined over 7,000 CKB each day. We'll take a rough average of like 7,150 coins. 7,150 coins means that we are mining $32 a day with this mining rig. That is a lot of passive income. That's a lot of money. Okay, but let's kind of put some things into perspective here. There's only $54,000 in CKB mine per day right now, right? And you could, you know, run the numbers and get the breakdown of how many coins that is. I don't have that handy. Love that would pop up on screen. That, that's not a ton of money to, to go after, right? For example, there's $1.2 million in Dogecoin mine per day. Granted, Dogecoin's got a $12 billion market cap. CKB, $180 million, uh, or really $150 per coin gecko. So what we're looking at here is really going to be like hash rate history. And we can see that the K7s are hitting now. Hash rate's ballooning. The more hash rate goes up, more people trying to eat the same pie. Okay. Mining profits are going to go down. CKB is going to absolutely rocket up to a new all-time high in hash rate history. Depending how you want to quantify that, you could say the network's more secure than it's ever been. Uh, that would need to be quantified with a higher quantity of miners, uh, especially ideally in different locations, and of course a higher hash rate there naturally as well. So just kind of understand this, keep it in mind, curb your expectations. By the time you get this miner in, you know, depending which one you order and when and whatever, if you're mining half of this per day, that's solid. Okay, uh, this miner is not too expensive to run. It's about $9 per day at a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity rate. But here's some hopium to hopefully get you hyped. If CKB was trading at its all time high or even ideally surpassed it, right? Then, and, and also keep in mind that CKB is of 36% in the last 30 days. That's cool, that's good. That's been a big relief uh, to miner profitability. So if it went up to this, which is down 90% from right now. So we take that number, real easy math. I can do math, pretty easy math. Punch it in, all right, and we times it by 7,150. That is $312 per day I'm mining right now with this miner if I hold these coins and we hit a new all-time high or just match the old one. Or let's even say we go up halfway to that. That's still $150 per day. That's absolutely nuts. But let's see how much these things go for because good luck buying one directly from bitmain they sell out quick i wasn't able to get one from bitmain so let's take that number right 32 minus 9 times 365 so if nothing changed over the next year we would make eight thousand four hundred dollars after we paid the electricity bill this year we're setting out to vet more asic minor sellers it's been a top request from Vosscoin subscribers. Y'all wanna know where can you buy mining rigs, right? What are some options, multiple options, safe options? Vosscoin is a coupon code to save you money. Yeah, that works at Crypto Miner Bros now. Uh, so make sure to click our link, support the channel and use the code to save money. If, if for nothing else, use the code just to save money, right? So we go over here and we can see that they secured some Bitmain Antminer K7s. They resold them at $6,200. They did a great job securing these and getting these out quickly. Getting these out quickly to their buyers turns into much more mining profitability because the earliest days with a big jump in mining performance miner, which for example, the K7 was, it is twice as efficient 
as its next best competition, which would be the Ivy Link BMN3, which we also have in and actually are still currently mining with. Review, check out that video. Ant miners are better than Ivy Link miners, and this one blows it out of the water as far as efficiency goes. I don't care for either of the ASIC miner companies, but that's another day, another video. Unfortunately, at the time of recording this, they've already sold out of this. I know they're actively trying to source more of those, so click our link down below and keep checking back with them. Uh, they have a bunch of other miners in stock, like the Ant Miner D9 that was uh, just released, and those are supposed to be hitting very soon. I don't know if they have stock of them yet and they're distributing those, but that should be a very quick turnaround time. And of course, among many other miners, and you may actually be familiar with Crypto Mining Bros. Shout out to Red Panda Mining. He's been working with them for years and had a good experience and instilled confidence in me to reach out, test them and work with them. So let's round out some data and some numbers on the Bitmain Amp Miner K7, the best Nervos Network CKB miner in existence ever historically so far. Mining CK bytes on the Eagle Song mining algorithm. Right here, the second batch had the 58 terahash a second version and it's consuming 2,800 watt. The first batch sold for a similar price point direct from Bitmain, but it mined at 63 and a half terahash a second and consumed 3,080 watts. So, a bit more mining power, bit more power consumption there. Pretty relative, depending on your electricity rate. Real world mining profitability for me, 32 bucks a day in the pocket. Yesterday was actually a little bit better, pushing my mining profitability up towards $33 a day. Little tick up in uh, price there, it's always a welcome thing to see as well. At a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity rate, I'm losing about $9 there, which would take me down you know, if we take the $33 number, would be $24 a day, or an equivalent of pocketing 5,328 CKBs for mining this. So as it stands, Bitmain is just dominating the miner market right now. The K7, the HS3, the KA3, and now the D9, oh, and the new, Ethereum Classic Miner, they are dominating their competition with bigger and much more efficient mining rigs, leading to them having all of the most profitable mining rigs that you can buy right now, uh, especially when it comes to ASIC mining. Remember, it's easy to use an ASIC miner. Don't be intimidated, but do be cognizant of the fact that they consume a decent amount of electricity you need a proper electricity setup. Almost all of them are rated for 220, 240 voltage these days. And uh, so you need a decent electricity rate as well there, or you're gonna eat into your profits big time. And they make a fair amount of noise. I mentioned it earlier, just wanna to touch on it one more time because I'm truly enjoying my units. Check out the Evergreen Miner if you need something that's not as much of an impact. It's easy on the electric bill, costs like five bucks a month to run. It's quiet, doesn't make much heat. The more electricity something consumes, that turns into heat. The K7, it produces some heat, among all these other ones. My name is Voss, you're on the Voss Coin YouTube channel. Home of our CEO, our Chief Electricity Officer here. That's gonna be Tails Voss. Of course she's a Doge. She's a Shiba Inu. And do you even need a better reason? stick around and subscribe thanks for watching seriously the channel is nothing without you and people that have watched the videos all the way through truly really incredible thank you and i hope to see you on the next one